Hey everybody what's up, today I'm back with another video for the M1 Mac fans, we'll be checking out some of the best external storage drive options for your M1 Mac mini, M1 MacBook and M1 iMac. I'll show you all the drives I have and do some real world file transfer speed tests to see how long it takes to move large files along with some disk read and write speed tests. Big shout out to the subscriber Summon, you're always showing great support on the channel so thank you. Most of you are already aware that upgrading your base storage through Apple can be quite expensive. Their internal storage drives will always be faster, however you can still find external storage drives that cost way less that are still fast, so give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned. So here are some examples, if you have the base model M1 Mac mini as I do, then upgrading to 512GB of storage costs $200. 1TB is $400 and 2TB is $800. Now that's a lot of money, plus those aren't portable drives that you can take with you anywhere or use with other devices like your M1 iPad Pro. Now let's go take a look at your options. Thanks to Sabrin for sending this to me. This is their 1TB M.2 NVMe SSD called the Rocket Nano. I love the domino-like design, it's very light. On the bottom you have a USB 3.1 Gen 2 port for faster speeds. I'll leave a link to everything shown in this video in the description below if you want to check them out. It comes with a USB-C cable and also a USB-A to USB-C cable so that's pretty good. Here it is connected to the USB-C port on the M1 Mac Mini. So I have this file right here on the desktop to do some file transfer speed test to the Rocket Nano. As you can see, it's almost 14 gigabytes, so let's see how long it takes to move it to the Rocket Nano. Go to Finder, here's our Rocket Nano, and let's drag the file right on over. There we go, this is all real time. Nice, that was pretty quick, let's move on to the next test. Here we're gonna run some disk speed tests to see the read and write speeds. Select Rocket Nano here, click open, and click start. Here's our write speed, that's over 500 megabytes per second. And the read speed, over 500 megabytes per second. On M1 Max, the read and write speeds of USB drives are cut in half. This drive and all other USB drives will have faster read and write speeds when connected to a Thunderbolt dock, I have another video on that. Next up is another drive sent to me from Sabrent, it's called a Rocket Extreme Q, but the cool thing about this NVMe SSD is, it's in a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, so you'll get those super fast speeds on your M1 Mac. It's also smart enough to detect when it's connected to a Thunderbolt or regular USB-C port. It comes with a Thunderbolt 3 cable. and also a USB-A to USB-C cable, so that's great. The overall design is nice, I edited a few of my videos from this drive and the performance is pretty good. It does feel a little warm to the touch after a long term usage, but not crazy hot. They also include a protective case to go with it. Nice vent design on the sides. Here's the drive plugged into the Thunderbolt port on the M1 Mac Mini. Now let's go run some tests. Select the drive right here in Finder. Let's drag that same file over to it. And look at that, super fast. Now let's do the disk read and write speed test. Select the drive here. Click open. Click start. Look at that, over 1200 megabytes per second on the write, sometimes it's a lot higher. On the read, over 2600 megabytes per second, that's pretty good. Thanks to OWC for sending me this drive, it's called the OWC Envoy Pro FX. They say it's built like a tank, and looking at it I believe them. They also say it's dust proof, drop proof, and waterproof. 
this is the one terabyte NVMe SSD model. You can get more or less storage. It is a Thunderbolt enclosure, so you're gonna get those super fast speeds on your M1 Mac. It also works with regular USB ports. It feels very well built, not too heavy, just a little bit of weight to it. It comes with a Thunderbolt 3 cable. I like how they did this right here. They added a USB-A adapter to the end of the cable so that you can connect the drive to a USB-A port. You just plug it in like this, so very nice feature. Here's the drive connected to the Thunderbolt port on the M1 Mac Mini, the blue indicator light right here. Now let's go test it out. Drag this file over to the SSD. Look at that, super fast. Now let's run the this read and write speed test, select target drive, select OWC Envoy Pro FX right here, click open, click start. Look at that, almost 2000 megabytes per second on the right and over 2600 megabytes per second on the read. This is a super fast drive. Next up is my 500 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme. I'll leave a link to the newer generation that has faster speeds. I've had this for a few years now and it's still holding up pretty well. It is USB-C. It comes with a USB-C cable and also a USB-A adapter. Just simply plug it on the end like this if you wanna connect it to a USB-A port. Here it's connected to the USB-C port on the M1 Mac Mini. Now let's do some file transfer speed tests. Extreme SSD right here. Drag the file over to the SSD. There we go, this is all real time. Like I said, these USB drives will perform faster on M1 Max if they're connected to a Thunderbolt dock. I have a video about that on the channel if you wanna check it out. All done, pretty good. Let's run the disk read and write speed test and see how it does. Click start. Over 300 megabytes per second on the right. And almost 400 megabytes per second on the read. Next up is my 1TB Samsung 870 QVO SSD. This was my first external SSD I used to upgrade my M1 Mac Mini storage. Majority of the 4K videos on my channel were also edited from this SSD and the performance was great. The SSD has a SATA connection so you can either connect it to your M1 Mac with a SATA to USB cable like this from Sabrent. Or you can use an SSD enclosure like this from Cable Matters. I really like the overall design of this, so this is how I have it. Slide the cover off and connect the SSD inside. Put the cover back on. I connect it with this Thunderbolt cable. Here's the SSD inside the enclosure and it's connected to the USB-C port on the M1 Mac Mini. Let's transfer that file to the SSD and see how long it takes. There we go, this is all real time. Not sure what was going on, but it kind of slowed down here, so I'll speed the clip up. It took about a minute and a half. Now let's do the disk read and write speed test. Select target drive. Click start. Wow, not really sure what's going on with this SSD today, but it's normally around 300 megabytes per second on the write speed when it's connected to the USB-C port on the M1 Mac Mini. 
and when it's connected to my Thunderbolt dock, it's over 500 megabytes per second on the ride speed. For the read speed, we got almost 400 megabytes per second. So like I said, with Apple, for 2 terabytes of storage, you're looking at $800. All the drives shown in this video cost less than $400 for 2 terabytes of storage that you can take with you anywhere and also use on any device. I have another video on my channel where I'll show you how to install and run apps on those external drives as well. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and leave a comment down below to let me know what you think. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LamarMK. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe, and peace out. Mm -hmm.